Time flies, except your senior year, which drags on like a dying horse, and you wish someone would just come along and put you out of your misery. And then all of a sudden, it's over, and now you're left here, and you have a week of school left, and you're like, now what do I do? To my graduating comrades, congratulations. Life uses high school to crush you into putty, but New Tech actually molded us into something, and for that, I am proud to be part of the class of 2011. We, the 70-something first real graduating class of Man New Tech High, have conquered the puberty monster, overcome the time of great awkwardness, and have grown into mildly attractive young adults. But the battle doesn't stop here. We have a new monster to conquer, but hopefully all the lessons we learned in high school will just be tools to us in our first year of college. We all know the statistics for the, that first semester, the dropout, you know, all just a bunch of unpleasant things that we really don't want to imagine happening to us. But the statistics are there, but statistics are changed every year by people full of desire and promise just like us. And so I think we'll be just fine. But to everybody else in high school, kind of twirling your thumbs, just trying to coast your way through. Maybe texting when you should be watching this video, talking to your friend, moving around in your chair, not really taking anything seriously. You're gonna be life's favorite chew toy. You just haven't figured it out yet. Because those college rejection letters slap straight through your skin and right to your soul. And then you realize, I'm not special. No, you're not. You're not any more special than any of the hundreds of thousands of people who have applied to college unless you take those extra steps and make yourself noticed. The whole K through 12, that was guaranteed to you. College is something you must earn the right to be in. Since I'm metaphorically high school dead, I feel I should leave some of the metaphorical high school possessions that I've acquired over time behind to somebody who can actually use them as I am going to college. So they are as following. FYI, when I'm actually dead, I would like all of my non-metaphorical possessions to be frozen with me so that when they can resurrect the dead, Walt Disney and I can chill and style, play with all my cool stuff. To KP, I leave my role as class leader. You have lots of potential, KP, and don't waste it on boys or drama, because unlike most other high school students, you have a mission. Finish the bleepin' movie. And to my little cousin, Madeline, turn your phone off. Stop taking so many pictures of yourself and save boys for college. They are much better there. To Mr. Zipkiss, I leave you the bragging rights to all the stuff we did because we may not have succeeded with the movie, but I think we did a pretty good job of everything else. And to Mr. Simpson, I leave you my undying enthusiasm and my love of working with people who don't always want to work back. I know we're both heartbroken, but maybe you could use what I have left to try this movie thing one more time. If you loved it, good for you. And if you hated it, I am so sorry. But we're about to walk across that stage, and we're never coming back. High school has taught me a lot. Like, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. There are a lot of unforeseen obstacles out there. Anyway, world, guess what? We're lost. It was not the convention center at all. And now we're about to be hit by an escalator. Watch what you say about people. Damn on us, not Mr. Simpson. Not Mr. Simpson, it was Mr. Zipkiss. That's what happens when you talk about people. <laughs> Shit falls from the sky. And you will enjoy life a lot more if you're not afraid of looking a little foolish. Guess what Mr. Kendrick did? 
He saved my life. He did. I don't know. Some stranger gave us cotton candy. And we're eating it, you know. A cotillion is just a quinceanera for white people. <laughs> She's a back for the dead! Really <laughs> okay. Actually, I have a face. It's a video diary. It's, it's Tim Curry. Did you know he was in Annie? Because I didn't. <laughs> that was the greatest day of my life. Every day is the greatest day of my life. If you've noticed, I say that a lot. But every day just gets a little better. My name is Alfita Reyes, and this is my legacy. Thank you.